Hi there, Linda Goodall here with Lindy G Embroidery. Because I've been using a computer since the early 1980s and I use a variety of programs, there are just certain things I expect some programs to do, especially programs that are graphically oriented, such as digitizing apps like Hatch. And one of those features is cloning, which I tend to do a lot and mostly without even thinking anymore. So let's talk about duplicating objects in Hatch. Hatch gives you several ways to duplicate an object. Well, first we need to bring one up, don't we? So um, I'm just going to go to My Designs, and we'll just open this guy up and, and work with it. So there's really nothing special about this particular design. But if I want to make a duplicate, probably the most common thing people will do is copy and paste. So I'll just do Control c Control v and I've made a copy. Now it kind of looks like nothing's happened, and this can be confusing to newbies because it stacks it right on top of the other one. So there are other ways to duplicate a design, and if we go to the Layout Toolbox, we can find some of them. So here we see Duplicate, and if I hover over Duplicate, you can see that it says Control D. So I'm just going to do Control D. And it did the exact same thing as Copy and Paste. So if I move that over, you can see it was stacked right on top of the previous one. Now that can get kind of confusing, so let's move this guy over here. And I'm going to do Duplicate with Offset. So if we hold down that one, it's Control Shift D. So I'm just going to click it a couple times. And there you can see I've just whipped out several copies of my design. Now if you look in the Layout Toolbox, there are other options for duplicating that are pretty cool. So if I select this guy and just do Mirror Horizontal, you can see that I've got a flipped version of him. Now, that's pretty cool, but that's not what I want to show you. I want to show you cloning. So to clone, let's move this guy down here. So I'm just going to select it, right click and drag, right click and drag, right click and drag. You can see how easy that is, and I don't have to even move my hand off the mouse. So when you're digitizing, you're usually doing something with the mouse. So you don't even have to take your hands off the mouse and move to the keyboard to do any of these things, and you don't have to go digging through a toolbox to find something. So once you put these shortcut keys into action, you'll probably even forget where to find some of these other tools. Now why would you want to clone, and when would you do it? Obviously, you can do it if you want to make a copy. But why would you want to make a copy? Well, sometimes you want to you know, do something with it. Uh, maybe you want to distribute them or line them up or something. But a lot of times I'll make a copy when I want to make a few changes to the design. And I, I think, well, this one's pretty good, but let me see if I can tweak this one up a bit. And so I'll move it off to the side, and I'll zoom in, and I might do some work on it. And if I decide it looks better, then I'll get rid of that one. Now, if I have a really complex design, instead of working in this document, I might move it to another document. And I do this all the time on the Mac. I just copy and drag it over to the other design. So I'm just going to right click, drag, I'm going to drag over this tab, and release. So I did have to move my mouse into the work area and it released. Now what's interesting here is it is in the exact same position as it was in the other document. So let's say that was a really complex document and I wanted to make sure that this guy got right back in the same place. So let's just change his color so we can see this. And I'm going to copy and paste it this time. So I'll select it, Control C, go back to here, Control V, and there it is, pasted right on top of where I was before. Now it's in the right place in the work area here but it's not necessarily in the right sequence, sewing sequence, because any new objects are always going to be pasted to the end of your document. So if this was not the last dot piece in the document already, the one underneath, then you'll have to do some resequencing to get it in the right position. So I've given you a few shortcut keys in this video. You don't need to learn every shortcut key in every program. There are some that kind of transfer over into other programs. Control D is often duplicate. Control C and Control V are used in pretty much any program because it's copy and paste. So they're standard ones. And as you start using certain ones all the time, learn the shortcuts because shortcut keys really speed you up in, in whatever program you're using. 
And who wants to spend any more time than they have to in a program? So cloning is a really easy way to get duplicates. Now I suggest that you practice this so that you know you get in the hang of doing this instead of copy and paste all the time. And you know, it's just too bad that I can't clone myself because then I could have a me that sat here and played with Hatch all day and another me that did all that other stuff. So I hope you've learned a, a thing or two. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.